good morning students today in this lecture i will discuss about the classification of the solvents now solvents may be classified in a number of ways and these classifications are based on their physical and chemical properties the main three types of classification are protic and aprotic solvents acidic basic and amphiprotic solvents ionizing and non ionizing solvent let us discuss each classification in detail the first classification is protic and aprotic solvents so protic or protonic solvent are those solvents which contain replaceable hydrogen atom these solvents they are donors of proton or the solvents from which we can derive h plus for example glacial acetic acid liquid hydrogen fluoride hydrochloric acid so when these three acid dissociate they dissociate into h plus plus their corresponding anions for example glacial acetic acid dissociate into h plus plus ch3coo negative liquid hydrogen fluoride that is hf dissociate into h plus plus f negative and hydrochloric acid that is hcl dissociate into h plus plus cl negative now these acids they are known as protic solvents because these solvents they are donors of proton a protic solvents or non protonic solvent are those solvents which neither donate nor accept protons hence they are neither acids nor bases on the basis of lori bronstein concept for example say 6h6 benzene sulfur dioxide dinitrogen tetroxide that is n2o4 acetonite acetonitrile ccl4 these are the example of a protic solvents because these solvent can neither donate or nor accept protons the second classification is acidic basic and amphiprotic solvent now what are acidic solvents acidic solvents means those which are proton donor for example glacial glacial acetic acid liquid hydrogen fluoride hydrochloric acids all these acids they are proton donors that's why they are known as acidic solvents basic solvents are those which accept protons and also donate electron for example liquid ammonia and ethylene diamine so in this reaction nh3 is accepting proton that is nh3 plus h positive they will form nh4 plus that is ammonia ion by accepting a proton that's why nh3 act as a basic solvent so the next category is amphiprotic solvent amphiprotic solvents are those solvents which show both acidic and basic properties water and lower alcohols like methanol ethanol they are amphiprotic solvents the acidic and basic properties are clear from the following reactions in this water that is h2o is dissociate into h plus plus oh negative so when it will dissociate into h plus then it will show the acidic property and when it will dissociate into oh negative then it will so show basic property similarly in case of alcohol when it dissociate into ch3 oh2 negative that is the show acidic property but when it is dissociate into o ch3 negative that will show their basic properties so these are known as amphiprotic solvents because they show both acidic as well as basic properties third category that is classification they are ionizing and non ionizing solvent ionizing solvents are those solvents which bring out ionization of the solute fairly well it means they undergo completely ionization they will completely dissociate into its ions so this property of solvents is due to their polar nature they have high dielectric constant and high dipole moment for example water liquid hydrogen fluoride liquid hydrogen cyanide are some of the example of ionizing solvents they bring about the ionization of polar solutes to a greater extent and are the most suitable solvents for them so these solvents they un undergo self ionization as shown below for example h2o plus h2o when two water molecules they will react they form h3o positive plus oh negative when two ammonia molecules will react it will form nh4 plus plus nh2 negative 
when hf plus 2 moles of hf they will react they will form h2f plus plus hf2 negative when 2 moles of hcn will react then it will form h2cn plus plus cn negative so2 plus so2 they will form so2 plus plus so3 two negative so these solvents they are undergo ionization they will completely ionize into their ions that's why they are known as ionizing solvents so they, and they have high dielectric and high dipole moment dielectric constant high and high dipole moment non ionizing solvents they are non polar solvents their dipole moment and dielectric constant are quite low hence the ionic solutes do not undergo ionization in such solvents therefore they are not suited for as solvents for ionic solutes however covalent that is non polar solutes preferably dissolve in them as like dissolves like carbon tetrachloride and benzene are the better non ionizing solvents now what type of questions can be asked from this topic what are protic and aprotic solvent what are acidic basic and amphiprotic solvents what are ionizing and non ionizing solvents or you can say uh, the next type of question can be asked from this topic uh, distinguish between protic and aprotic solvent distinguish between acidic basic and amphiprotic solvent and distinguish between ionizing and non ionizing solvent or you can say the third question that can be asked from this define protic and aprotic solvent so when you have to be define that solvent you have to first write the definition and then write the examples so write the definition of each category each classification and then also mention the examples with each definition so example is must for with each definition so today in this lecture i have discussed the class classification of solvents in the next lecture we will discuss about the non aqueous solvents and their importance thank you